Hi folks, thanks for joining me for uh, this week's vlog. It's a, it's a bit of a secret squirrel one this. So I've been invited along to a syndicate water by a friend. Uh, it's a river obviously and it is a chalk stream but I can't, I'm not at liberty to tell you where it is. But I'm really looking forward to the day. It's always great to get on a new piece of river and let's get into it. It's been a while since I've been fishing and as you can see, everything is in a bit of a state so before I do anything I'm going to have a little tidy up I've had a little tidy up and uh, I've managed to get my, my reservoir rods put away in the tube. Now, I've got another pouch exactly the same as this for my river fishing kit, but unfortunately that's done a little circuit of the country at the minute and it's still not in my possession. I think it's in Kidderminster now, but it's slowly moving around the country trying to come back to me. So I've got two empty rod tubes for my usual suspects for the river and a minus two or three reels. So what have I got left? I've got one reel that I've set up that I can change between dry fly and nymphing and I'm going, I'm going to use today this Drift XL and basically what the Drift XL does it extends from a 9 foot 6 rod to a 10 foot 6 rod so it will cover both dry fly and nymphing for me. Uh, thankfully I've not, I've not used it in a while so hopefully it will do me a favour today. So, I've had to tidy up, I'm going to throw the kit in the car, grab a shower, catch a bit of breakfast and then hit the river. I'll see you all there. Well, I've arrived at the secret location and I'm just waiting to be bagged and taken to the river. It'll be an interesting day. Uh, I have fished this river before, but just not this section. As I said earlier, it's a syndicate water, so let's see what's ahead of us. Well, you've seen the mess of my garage this morning where I keep all my tackle, and uh, I thought I'd done a fairly decent job of tidying up and getting my kit together, but, you know, the old adage goes, as ever, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. So I've just got, I'm just checking my kit before my pal arrives. I've forgot my zinger with my clipper on and uh, I've brought the wrong landing net. So I've, I've brought this one, this is um, a floating net which I like to use when I'm, when I'm uh, taking photographs of fish and stuff. It just keeps them in the water. But the magnet I've brought uh, repels it. So that's a world of hurt later on in the day. Hey, I'm gonna have to muddle through and see how I get on. Well, I've had a very quick look at the river. It's crystal clear. I think I'm going to start with dry fly initially, see if I can tempt something up. Uh, fish will see everything that goes past them in this clarity of water. So I'm hoping for a bit of sport on the dry. Well, we're down on the river now and uh, my host very graciously let me have the first couple of casts. There's a few fish rising uh, at the start point and I've managed to catch one almost straight away, which is great. It, it bodes for a fantastic day's sport. So let's have a wee look at what we've got. Well, my pals brought me to this river and uh, it looks like lots of other chalk streams I've fished before, but there be monsters live here and uh, I'm smiling now, but if you'd seen me 20 minutes ago, I was sat on the bank with my head in my hands. I hooked a fish, it must have been five pounds. And um, it just ran on me. My tension wasn't set right on my reel and it just snapped me like I was fishing putty. But I'm smiling now because I've just caught a cracking fish. Uh, it's come up and smashed a dry fly right off the surface. It moved about three feet. My cast wasn't good, but the fish did move, so let's have a look at this. Mm. 
Well, we're just coming to a hatch pool and uh, there's a little hatch coming off and the sport's been fantastic. I've actually caught a grayling now, which was great because they've, they've been um, a bit absent today. Plenty of brown trout, very few grayling. See them in the water, but we can't seem to interest them. Me nor my host have uh, not managed a grayling. But I just got one there, uh, about 30 centimetres, which wasn't bad. But virtually the next cast, I had a brown trout, and what a beautiful fish it is. Let's have a wee look at it. Now, as I said earlier, this river's not been stocked in about 30 years, and uh, with good reason. The keeper here believes that um, you shouldn't be stocking fish into rivers. And I've got to say, after the sport I've had today and some of the fish I've seen, I've got to agree, it's absolutely amazing. The trout have had a chance to grow on because they're not competing for food with uh, stock fish. And uh, some of the grayling, I mean, I can only show you them from a distance because I can't seem to catch them. But they're absolute monsters. Well, the day's wearing on, actually. It's, it's about five o'clock now, and uh, I probably outstayed my welcome. But I've just hooked a grayling. It would have been 45, 46 centimetres. I played it, I ran down the river after it, and it still managed to snap me off as uh, my line got tangled in my net. I am absolutely broken. Uh, coupled with the brown trout that I lost earlier, I'm, I'm really gutted. I've had a few fish, uh, maybe seven or eight today and uh, they've been great but I'm going to remember the day for the big fish that have broke me off through bad angling or just sheer bad luck but uh, what a superb day completely wild river catching monsters absolutely loved it uh, I've got to thank my host I can't name him but uh, thanks very much for the invite and I hope I get an invite back very soon <laughs>